In this video we are going to look at the tool which analyzes the SAP custom transactions and shows the internal auditor which are the custom transaction which are assigned to SU24 settings with the authorization objects. Now we are going to restrict the report with the custom object name. Generally the custom transactions start with Z or Y. This report can be run for multiple systems. We are going to enter the system information and execute the report. Here are we are showing two options one SAP custom transaction with SU24 entries and other with SAP custom transactions without SU24 entries. We can double click on any line to see more details. Here is the list of transaction without SU24 entries.